they got a spike power bomb for Billy Lee as well. TSI is now taking full advantage of this match. Quick tag. And a sleeper slam. Illegally, my, I might add, but nonetheless effective. Grissom back in. He makes a tag and now they both put in the books to Billy as well. And neck breaker drop. The champion. Wait a minute. Okay, a little miscommunication there, but that miscommunication was more than enough. What? For Billy Lee to try to take advantage. Now what's Billy trying to set up for? He's in the wrong corner. Three knees to the gut. Now a roll up, but way too close to the ropes. Now quickly makes the tag. <laughs> and he got unceremoniously welcomed into the ring. Now, what is they playing? Oh no. I think I know what's coming. Yes it is. It's time they put Jimmy Lee under arrest! The same move that almost won the title the first time! Helps them retain him! CSI retains the Tag Team Championships in a hard-fought match against Double Dragon! To both Lee brothers, they tried to fight their hearts out, but in the end, CSI was too much. Here's the replay, the head and arm suplex by Gil Grissom, and then he followed it up with the roll of the dice, Vegas style beatdown, but that wasn't even enough. But then, they decided to put an end to it by placing Jimmy Lee under arrest. Now, no to all, all call fans, if y'all have a better name for that, please let me know. Put it down in the comments, message me, whatever. Under arrest was the best I could come up with. But nonetheless, it was enough for CSI to retain their titles and back to live action! We got the Matrix! Neon Morpheus in the way, they're attacking Double Dragon! What is this about? I'm, I guess there's still a little bit irate that Double Dragon has beat them in every single match as Neo connects with a one on Billy Lee who I can't tell when this angle looks busted open. Now a double team suplex on Jimmy! And now, ah! Oh, another double team move! And now Morpheus! This ain't an insult to injury! Zion Slam! Matrix to come out here. Has they has the beat between the Matrix and Double Dragon led to this? Oh, we gotta get some answers from Neo and Morpheus as soon as possible. The Matrix left leave Double Dragon land.
Cruel Intentions is back on the air and it is now time to find out who a Lionel's opponent will be. This is our final, semi-final match in the Lord of the Rain tournament. As the Rough House from Russia, Colossus makes his way down the ringside. He, like Copperfield, was also a replacement. Colossus replaced Lamont Sanford. And then, went on to defeat Blade to get in this match. But just like, but really unlike Lionel against Copperfield, this, these two have a huge score to settle. As here comes the badass from San Angeles, Simon Phoenix. As I mentioned just moments ago, these two have a huge score to sound dating back to Truth for Consequences. Actually, we can go all the way back to the first episode of Showtime, where Phoenix Pearl Harbor collapses at the parking lot and laid him out with not only a chair, but Simon says, then, at True for Consequences, it was a no disqualification match. Phoenix somehow required the, ser acquired the services of Zeus to help him pick up the victory. But we guarantee there's no Zeus here tonight. It's going to be one of these two with Lionel waiting in the wings later tonight in the finals. Let's get it on! And here we go! And Colossus starting off quickly, showing that power game. Dropping a couple elbows right to the back. Phoenix cannot go into a slugfest with Colossus or he will lose this match pretty quickly. One. But again, Colossus cannot underestimate the dirty tactics of Simon Phoenix. Phoenix gets himself, tried to sneak him, but Colossus was too smart for that. Irish whip to the far corner. Oh, big elbow. And now, stomping away. Stomping that proverbial mud hole in Phoenix. And now, oh, speaking of stomp, oh my God. That's 300 plus pounds on your lower back. And now, Jawbreaker! Nice counter by Phoenix! Into a reverse DDT! What will it mean for one of these two men to be one step closer? To becoming Lord of the Ring? Look at the strength of Phoenix! I think Colossus could have probably been setting up for the Colossal Bomb. But nonetheless, Headlock take Headlock counter by Phoenix and he kicks him right over the top rope. One. Then again, both men outside the ring. Yeah. This is definitely important because if there's a double count out, Three. Lionel will be named Lord of the Ring while he's breaking a sweat. Four. Very well, that both men are back in the ring. This match continues. Knee to the gut by Phoenix. Uh, try for a clothesline. Back elbow. Go behind by Colossus. And a big boot! <laughs> Almost came Simon Phoenix chest in. I'm surprised it didn't. Now, oh, look at the, look at the agility by the big man. 
Oh, try for a clothesline. Come down on top by Phoenix. But that gets countered with a knee to the gut. Now, Irish whip. Oh, changes his mind. Hits a back elbow. But Phoenix fighting back. And now, oh no. Oh, pushes referee Kirk James right into Colossus. Now it has him in a Boston Crab. But quickly. Colossus with all that strength and power. Counters out of that with the greatest of ease and delivers a shot to the back of Phoenix. Phoenix fighting out of that position with a couple back elbows to the face. Now Colossus gets out of the ring. Phoenix follows. Now they're taking a fight to the floor. Big back suplex. Two. Three. Now, Colossus sends Phoenix back into the ring. Four. I don't know what Colossus is thinking of here, but he better follow up. Don't let Phoenix get on his feet any longer. E to the gut. Now, picks him up. This is where the power lies. Oh! That's where the power game favors Colossus, and he just showed it right there. Now setting him up. What's he got here? Oh no. Could it be those triple power bombs? There's one. There's two. Can he hit the trifecta? Phoenix trying to fight out of it, and he does with a face buster. Just took that, took that turnbuckle pad off. Colossus misses with an elbow. Oh, hip toss counter there by Phoenix. This is aptly named. Somebody's got some cruel intentions for that exposed turnbuckle. And now, it looks like it's Colossus. That's turning the tables. But Phoenix quickly got out of it. Oh no! This is, I guess, what was supposed to happen originally. Colossus and Phoenix 